Sementara itu, kabar angin kenaikan harga beras nyata meresahkan pengguna meskipun sebelum ini dinafikan oleh kerajaan. Kebanyakan pengguna yang ditemui masih bimbang jika kenaikan itu menjadi kenyataan kerana kos sar hidup semakin meningkat. Walaupun faham fenomena alam dan keadaan cuaca panas tidak dapat dielakkan, rata-rata pengguna berharap kerajaan dapat mencari jalan penyelesaian terbaik agar kabar angin mengenai kenaikan harga beras itu tidak benar. Assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera Seluman Haris dan Bulutin Awani dimulakan dengan segmen Suara Rakyat untuk jam ini. Bukan sahaja harga melonjak naik, malah bekalan beras di pasaran turut berkurangan dengan ketara. Situasi itu terus membebankan pengguna, khususnya golongan B40 yang sekarang ini sudah pun dihimpit dengan kos sehari hidup yang tinggi. Ini adalah hasil tinjauan Astro Awani di Johor Bahru. Okay, harapannya agar kerajaan dapat bantulah macam meringankan beban rakyat ni sebab kita pun dah macam tertekan. Hai, Assalamualaikum. So based on the short compilation videos that I put in front of the videos and from the article taken from the New Straits Times, you guys basically have an idea on what manager economic concept that I want to focus on. So let's go. The title for the discussion is the inelastic demand for rice in Malaysia, implications of shortage due to excess demand. First, we will start with the, de the definition of demand and supply. So basically, demand refers to the quantity of a good or services that consumers willing and able to purchase at various price. While supply refers to the quantity of a good and services that producers are willing to provide to the market at a given price. So in this discussion, the demand and supply of goods that happen is rice. So what is shortage? A shortage is a condition where the quantity demanded is greater than quantity supplied at the market price. There are three main causes of shortage. First, increase in demand. Second, decrease in supply. And third one is government intervention. So basically, the, short, the shortage of rice happens when quantity demanded from consumers is greater than quantity supplied at the market price. As you can see in the graph, when the, when the price ceiling is set by the government at P1, there will be shortage or excess demand. This is because consumers are not willing and able to pay at higher price to purchase rice and suppliers also cannot provide such quantity at that price. However, because the demand for rice is inelastic, which means that when the price goes up, consumers buying habits stays about the same, and when the price goes down, consumers buying habits also remain unchanged or just small changes. This is because rice is a staple food of Malaysians and most of us won't substitute rice for any other food. But besides all of this, an increase in price is much needed to help boost and help the agriculture industries which are, failing, which are facing difficulties with their crops as well due to many reasons like weather. If the suppliers can increase their production, the demand for rice can be fulfilled and in the long term can stabilize the price of rice in the market. Kalau kita nak menyelesaikan isu 3.2 juta isi rumah B40 ni, kita nak kalau boleh dijual. Dengan harga, biar dia naik. Sebab dia menggalakkan juga farmers ini akan terus menanam padi. Sebab dia tahu dia boleh untung banyak. Contoh, kalau hari ini kita set the ceiling RM2.60 ataupun RM26.10 kg, kita boleh benarkan dia jual katakan RM32. Jadi sudah tentu ada gap RM6. Kalau RM6 gap ini, Kalau saya calculate lah Untuk menyelesaikan dalam masa jangka pendek ini Untuk isi rumah yang kita klasifikan sebagai B40 Kalau RM6, RM20 uh, kg Lepas tu kita time dengan 12 bulan Saya dah kira tadi lebih kurang lah 460 juta lah From the issues, what can we do to help? What can we contribute? Using the concept of khair, which stands for Khalifah, Amanah, Ikra and Rahmatan Dil Alamin, I'm taking this one Quran verse from IOM News article. 
This is because knowledge is a form of trust, amanah, from Allah to man. And hence, man should utilize knowledge according to Allah's will in performing his role as servant and vicegerent of Allah on earth. Allah calls upon us as vicegerent in Surah Al-Baqarah, which means Khalifa. We are the Khalifa who need to fulfill the amanah with knowledge we have from Ikra by reading and learning and make it as a way of life, which is Rahmatan Lil Alamin be beneficial to all humankind. As a student with big opportunities to lead the way to change, we can contribute a lot to society. We can volunteer with organizations that are working to address the rice shortage issue, such as food banks and community gardens. This can help to provide support to those who are most affected by the, so by the shortage. We can also start from ourselves by reduce food waste by only buying what, what we need uh, and consume leftovers. This can help to reduce the demand for rice and other food products. If you want to go bigger, we can advocate for policy change by writing to the elected representatives and urging them to take action to address the rice shortage issue. Now we have big platforms like Parliament Mahasiswa to raise our voices to make sure we are, 